Hey guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to do a tag video, as the title would say, or as the title would say, right? Um, and it is the TMI tag, and I was tagged eons ago, actually in March, by my girl Cindy DR Brooklyn, and I actually have her pulled up. You can see her right here. You guys know and love her. So I have the questions pulled up. I'm finally doing it. Cindy, don't send for me. I'm doing it. <laughs> so I'm just going to get to it really quick. First question, what are you wearing? I'm wearing this shirt that I actually hauled in my uh, one of my most recent vlog videos, which I will link right here. I'm wearing uh, this headband from, where's this headband from? eBay. eBay, yeah, it's like an eBay leopard turban headband. And then these little gold knot earrings from Forever 21. My confirmation necklace that I always wear. No other jewelry. Um, the shirt, like I mentioned. And then these pants that are like, I'll stand. They're like uh, writing pants. You can see they have like this little like suede look writing pant leggings that I got eons ago from Walmart or Kmart. Well, that's what I'm wearing. Um, have I ever been in love is the second question. The answer is yes. Um, have I ever had a terrible breakup? The answer is no. Um, how tall are you? I believe I'm 5'6". How much do you weigh? I honestly don't know and I don't own a scale so I can't like jump on and prove it to you else I would I would say this is a big range but I honestly think I'm somewhere from like 230 to 250 um any tattoos no things just my ears just the standard one same thing with that I almost got my tongue pierced me and my friend said we were gonna do it um <laughs> on a trip in Miami when I was 18 I was like yeah you do it I'll do it and then she did it, and I was like, I'm not going to do it, sorry. <laughs> and I'm so happy I didn't, because I think I would have regretted it. Uh, one true pairing, which, back when everyone was doing this video, I was like, what the heck is a one true pairing? I have no clue what that is. Um, but I guess it's like two people from a TV show that like you want to put them together. So if that's the case, I would say from My So-Called Life, which is my favorite show, Ebbs, um, I would pair Vic, the substitute teacher, with Rayanne Graff, which is totally unethical, totally not right, but they make so much sense together. Um, my favorite show, so my favorite show of all time, My So-Called Life, um, obviously not on the air anymore. If you've never seen it, go to, uh, I think it's on Netflix or Hulu, but find it, it's such a good show. Um, that's my favorite show of all time. I also love Sex and the City, also no longer on. The show's better than the movies. Um, and for shows that are currently on, I love Scripted Wise, I love Parks and Recreation, and I love The Mindy Project. So, so, so funny. Um, those are like the two scripted shows that I actually like care about, really. Off the top of my head, I just recently got into Mad Men, and I like Orange is the New Black and House of Cards, so I like those um, Netflix shows. And then, other than that, I am reality TV all day, er day. Um, my favorite bands. I really like more like rappers, musicians, not so much bands. So the one band that I do love is 30 Seconds to Mars. Love, love, love. So that would be my favorite technical band. Like my favorite musician's music, uh, Kanye all day, er day. I ride hard for Kanye. I love, love, love Kanye. We are just both misunderstood geniuses, and but we understand each other. Me and Kanye, we like this. Um, and Drake, because I'm soft. That's why. I also currently am really obsessed, of course, with Chance the Rapper, as you also saw in my vlog, Shy Town Represent. And if you like Chance, chances are, no pun intended, you probably like Childish Gambino, which I am also obsessed with right now. Um, let's see, where am I? Oh, something you miss. I desperately miss New York. I have not been to New York in like five years, and at one point I was going pretty regularly, so now I really miss it. That's like my second favorite place on earth, so definitely miss New York. Um, my favorite song, The Jump Off by Little Kim is my favorite song. I just love that song so, so much. It's so good. Um, and then I also really like Juicy. Um, by Biggie. Those are like the two songs that I go hype over. Um, sorry, I keep losing my place. How old are you? I just turned 32 yesterday. Uh, my zodiac sign, Leo, Leo, and it's today your birthday. Yes, it is. You know it is. <laughs> if you're from Chicago, you know what that means. Quality, you look for in a partner. Quality, I look for in a partner. Um, someone who is a ride or die for me, someone who is funny, someone who loves me unconditionally, 
someone who is hot, whatever that means to me. Like that, it doesn't mean he has to look like a model or whatever. Like he doesn't have to be a type as long as like he's just hot, confident, sexy. Um, yeah, that's that. So if you know anyone, holler. Dark hair, dark eyes. I also like that. I don't care the race as long as it's dark hair, dark eyes. Uh, favorite quote. Two quotes that kind of tie in together. Obviously, the golden rule. We've all learned it in school. Treat others as, as you would have others. And it is, you must be the change we wish to see in the world. And I actually have that quote um, right at my door when you walk in. Um, my favorite actor, Jared Leto. J-L-L-V-R-143. I love Jared Leto. I've loved him since I was 13. We are going strong. I'm 32. Still love him since the very first day I laid my eyes on him. Uh, favorite color, green. This color green, everything I own is like this or even a little bit brighter, just like lime, neon, obnoxious green. Definitely my favorite color. Uh, loud music or soft? Where do you go when you're sad? Mm, my house. <laughs> so I either cry in my bed or in the shower. Those are the two best places to cry, in my opinion. Um, how long does it take you to shower? Well, when I'm not sobbing my eyes out in the shower, uh, I, I could shower really quick. I could shower in like five minutes. Um, but honestly, sometimes it's more like 30, which I'm trying to stop that. I'm trying to be on the shorter end of showers. How long does it take me to get ready in the morning? One hour, no matter what I do, because I either like lay in my bed like a lazy turd until like I really have to get ready. And then I just do all the actual getting ready in 10 minutes or like I get up early and I take my time to do everything. And then by the time I'm out the door, an hour has passed either way. So hour minimum. Um... Have I ever been in a physical fight? No, which is funny because, like, a lot of times I step up to people that I could never beat up. Like, I don't know how to fight. I don't know how to throw a punch. I don't even know how to form a punch. Like, don't your nails get in the way? I don't know. But, like, when I'm mad, I guess, or just in public, I think I have, like, a, like a resting bitch face syndrome. So people are, like, scared of me sometimes. And they're just like, you know, let me step back. Because they think that I'm, like, this big, tough, like, fat bitch who could beat them up. And honestly, I can't fight at all. I mean, I'm sure if you, like, did something to me, my hand will learn how to how to punch and I will knock you out. I'm sure the rage will take over. But honestly, I do not know how to fight at all. Um, turn on. If I had to pick my number one turn on, just confidence. Uh, my number one turn off. Uh, cheapness. Not necessarily being broke. Like, if you're broke, we can work through it. I love you. Whatever. But if you're being cheap, no boo. No boo. No cheapness. Uh, the reason I joined YouTube. The reason I joined YouTube, actually, like, I think I've told the story before that my sister kind of forced me into joining it. But the reason I was drawn to YouTube in the beginning was, I've mentioned this before, too, is that nobody in my everyday life at the time because that's changed now. But no one in my everyday life at the time cared about makeup in the way that I cared about are my fears. So funny, I just, like a couple days ago, tweeted this to uh, Buy Now Blog Later, uh, Laura, and I had told her that my second beer biggest fear in life is being proposed to in a like dramatic theatrical way. So like a guy putting up a billboard or like staging all these, like a flash mob, or I hate creative proposals. like. Just be classic, get down on one knee, tell me you love me, ask my dad a couple days before, and like, let's do this thing. Don't, don't do all that extra stuff. I hate, hate, hate that. And then my number one biggest fear in life, aside from that, is never getting proposed to to begin with. So, slash married. Like, if I never get married, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because that's like my sole purpose on this earth, is to be someone's wife. Real talk. Uh, last thing that made me cry... I can't remember the last thing to make me cry, to be honest. Last time you said you loved someone, I just, my friend, I just called him and he couldn't call me, or he had to let me go. And I said, I love you. I always say I love you to my friends when I hang up. Um, the meaning behind my YouTube name, I've said this before, WPC was like my fake posse in high school. Like, we were a posse. We're still a posse. What up, WPC, till the world blows up? But like, WPC didn't really have a real meaning. We were just like, we need a posse name so we sound like bad. And we kind of came up with it and we all had like our nicknames in the crew and Vane, V-A-N-E, was mine. So, and I think that carried over from the past the vein like how that came about so when i was uh signing up for like aol or gmail like vein wpc was always my default Let's see the last book i read the last book i read was girl boss and to be honest i thought it was 
kind of boring. Like, I thought it was good, but I don't really have that, like, strong entrepreneurial, like, spirit in me where, like, I want to start my own business and that sort of thing. So, to me, it was a little, like, ho-hum. The book you're currently reading, I currently need to read a book. My mom gave me two books for my birthday, and I have, like, a crazy stack of books I need to read. But the next book I'll read since Girl Boss was nonfiction will be fiction because I like to rotate. For every fiction book, I read a nonfiction. So, yeah, it'll definitely be a fiction book, and I will let you guys know. Um, the last show you watched. The last show I watched was The Real Housewives of OC. Talked to last person I talked to was for, like, two seconds, my friend Teddy. Uh, the relationship between you and the person you last text. The last person I text was my friend... Kelly? No, my sister. My sister Amber. She's my sister. <laughs> um, my favorite food. I have like a favorite genre of food is uh, Italian food because I love cheese. Like cheese is probably my favorite single item food. I try to put it on everything and anything I can. So I love Italian food because everything has cheese on it. <laughs> um, my place you want to visit New York, like I mentioned, aside from that, it's kind of funny because everyone has like these really like worldly travel places they want to go. And I don't honestly have like a desire to travel the world as much as I wouldn't mind seeing more of the U.S. first. Um, and I think the reason for that is in like when you think of world travel, there's so many places that are like jungles, um, beaches and like very untapped, raw, like one with nature places. And I hate anything like that. Like, I'm straight up city girl. I hate animals. I don't want fresh air. I don't want to see greenery. Like, when people just look over a cliff and they're like, wow, beautiful. I'm like, what? This is so boring. There's bugs on me. Get me to a Starbucks. So, like, the only places I want to go are, like, big fun cities. So, like, New York, Tokyo, um, Sao Paulo. Like, I want to go to Toronto. Vi like, uh, not Vegas. Uh, Los Angeles, so like cities, metropolises, things where there's cool things happening. That's where I want to go. I don't really want to go on a beach. I just don't. Um, last place you were, the last place I was before this was on a bus. And before that bus, I was on a train. And before that train, I was at work. Um, do you have a crush? Do I have a crush? No. I wouldn't. Last time I kissed someone was so long ago. That's depressing. I don't even remember, but I swear it's been more than three years. Can somebody come make out with me? Birthday girl, let's go. Um, last time you were insulted. The last time I was insulted. <sighs> My favorite flavor of sweet. Eating it right now and it looks super unappetizing. But carrot cake, this is some leftover carrot cake from my birthday. <gasps> so good. Mm. Mm hmm. I have a massive sweet tooth, so literally anything sweet. I love it. Um, what instruments do you play? None. Skin flute? <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't play any instruments. <laughs> Um, my favorite piece of jewelry. Favorite piece of jewelry would be this necklace. I never take it off. Um, I got it for my confirmation when I was in the seventh grade. Last sport you played. I don't do sports, so. Um, last song you sang. Last song I sang was Bonfire because I was at work and I was singing it in my head as I had it on my headphones. Um, and anytime I really have to focus on, like, doing a document, I put on Childish Gambino Bonfire because it just gets me so hype. I love that song. Um, my favorite chat-up line. So, like, my favorite pickup line. I don't, like, use, a, like, a... You must have fell from heaven. Like, I don't use pickup lines, but, like, if I think you're hot somewhere, I'm going to be like, hi, I'm Vanessa, you're super hot. What's your name? So that's it. And, like, when guys talk to me, I just, like, when guys are, like, nice... Um... Have I ever used it? Have I ever said hi to someone? Yes, I always say hi to people. Um, the last time you hung out with anyone. So dramatic. Last time I hung out with anyone was yesterday with Day. Um, And then the last one is who should answer these questions next? You know, everyone and their mother was doing this tag already. So honestly, if you haven't done the tag, do it. And I know that's so generic, but like everyone has done the TMI tag. I'm like the 20. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogist Day 21. Have a uh, great night. Talk to you guys later. Bye.